guys welcome back to my channel thank you all for stopping by today i'm going to show you how i make my guyanese style all-purpose pastry dough to get started i have some all-purpose flour here i'll be using some shortening butter cold water salt and sugar so the first thing we'll do is add the salt and sugar to the flour and mix that in real well then we'll add the butter and shortening and work that in by hand if you want to use a kitchen tool or a stand mixer or whatever you want to use you can go ahead I prefer to do this by hand once the flour mixture starts to resemble wet sand or breadcrumbs that's when we'll go in with our cold ice water you want to add a little at a time and just press and squeeze press and squeeze the dough until it all comes together into a ball and just a quick reminder, you don't have to use both shortening and butter to make your pastry dough. You could use either one. Any form of solid fats you can use to make a pastry dough. You could even use ghee hair if you prefer. Once the dough comes together, you want to wrap it up in a piece of cling wrap and just place it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. And that's it guys. That's how easy and simple it is to make this and it's one of the best pastry doughs you will ever try trust me it was so light and flaky basically melting in your mouth now i did go ahead and make some treats here i have pine tarts and beef patties one is a sweet treat one is a savory treat it's an all-purpose dough so you can use it basically for anything you could even use it for pies and you could tell by the look of this that it's the perfect pastry dough. You, you know when you look at the pastry if it's flaky or not. And once I broke into it, that was just confirmation. It was crumbs everywhere. Now, if you break into your pastry and you don't see crumbs falling everywhere, that is not a good pastry. You need to start again. But if you see crumbs everywhere, trust me, that's perfection. And this is just um amazing i truly enjoyed and i hope you all give the recipe a try if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up share it and leave a comment down below i will leave all the ingredients and measurements down in my description box and i'll see you all next time thank you for watching i appreciate your support and as always enjoy